What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and a long time later. Today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the latest Evolution X ROM on this particular device. And this is the latest Evolution X version 5.6.1 and it is Passion as the name. The Android version is still 11. This is the 24th April 2021 build by the way and you can download it from here. I'll put all the links in the description box below. And if you don't know how to flash this ROM on the Redmi Note 7 Pro, click on the card right there or check out the description. And this build over here of course includes the G apps and this is how the Android version section looks like. On top we do have the Evolution X logo and the Android version still shows Android 11 of course. And here as you can see the security patch is latest of April 5th 2021. And here you can see the baseband version. The stock kernel right now is this Litten Passion Fruit G kernel. And we have the build date over here again as the 24th April 2021 build. Let me show you the system panel. This is how it looks like. And we do have a system updater, but that's not here. It is right there. If you tap on the system update, as you can see, you can check for updates from here. But if your storage is decrypted like mine, I would suggest flashing it manually. If you're on the older build, like to update, just flash it manually. Check out that guide. If you want to flash the ROM manually over here or update the ROM manually. In the gesture settings, we have the double tap over here on the lock screen and status bar both to sleep. And we have the quickly open camera too. But let me tell you, there is no camera present over here by default at least. You have to flash any camera over here like Google camera or the ANX camera, whatever you want, you have to flash it like separately. In the system navigation gestures, we have these gesture navigation. We get a lot of customizations. There is the pill bar hiding or showing up option. Then if you go into the advanced settings, we have the extended swipe action. You can customize it however you want. Then we also have the gesture bar length and the gesture bar radius customization. This is amazing that we get two kind of customization over here and I have changed both to the highest. And as you can see, that's the reason why it shows this thick, long kind of pill bar over here. And there is a haptic feedback disabling option. Then we have the back gesture animation and stuff. You can disable that if you don't like them. We have the two button and three button navigation as well. Then we have the swipe to screenshot. And here, as you can see, this is how you can take a screenshot. There is a scrolling, delete and edit option. Then from here, you have all these take full screenshot, drag selection option, then screenshot quality, you can adjust that too. So that is great. And in the power menu, we have these kind of power menu customization and skip music track and stuff is there. And we have the adaptive playback and stuff. And here the default keyboard that you get is the Google keyboard or Gboard over here. Now, this is how the home screen section looks like. Pretty beautiful looking home screen that you get. And by the way, the launcher over here, let me show you. This is a pixel launcher that you get. And also in the recent panel, this is how it looks like. We have the screenshot, then the select option. And also there is the split screen and the pin and the free form option if you want them. And all the way to the left, we get this clear all option. Now in the home screen settings or the launcher settings, we have the at a glance notification dots. Then we have the add app icons to the home screen and swipe to access Google app over here is there. Overview suggestion is there or you can disable this kind of suggestions over here too if you want. Then we also have the double tap to sleep surprisingly over here in the pixel launcher. I'm not really sure how it's there but yes this option is there. So I can just double tap anywhere in the home screen and that makes the phone sleep. Let me show you the finger meat scanner speed now and as you are noticing it is unlocking super fine and the speed of the finger bit unlocking is very very fast and snappy experience over here and it is very reliable finger bit scanner experience as you are noticing. So no issues with the finger bit unlocking over here, it unlocks very fast without any issues. And to the left of the home screen we get the Google's discover page, swiping up still gets you to the app drawer and swiping down over here gets you to the notification or the quick settings panel and you can swipe on the quick settings panel to get more toggles and the widgets in the home screen are working fine. No issues with that. Now let's talk about the quick setting panel. I have added couple of toggles and there are plethora of toggles that you can add. Just notice how many toggles are there. I have added couple of toggles and here let me show you we have this Android 11 screen recorder and with this you can record the device audio and the microphone audio at the same time. And also we have the heads up disabling or enabling option. Also there is a reboot toggle so you can just tap and hold on it to go into the recovery directly. You don't have to touch the power button to go into the recovery. You can just do that from the toggle itself. And also we have the screenshot, hotspot, do not disturb. And also we have the power menu. So if you tap on that, you can get the power menu and you can also get into the like advanced reboot stuff from here, or you can go into the Google smart home controls over here. You can access them from here. 
Also, there is a mute toggle over here and there is a volume panel toggle too. So as you're noticing, this is how the volume panel looks like. I have changed the style of it, but I'll show you all those style changing options later. Sleep screen option is there so you can lock the device with this toggle itself. Also, we have the oxygen mask kind of like screen recorder. And here, as you can see, if you go into the settings, we have the resolution, the bitrate, number of frames, audio source, etc. changing option. So yeah, pretty much everything that you get, you get two screen recorders over here. That is amazing. Also, there is the FPS info toggle. So if you enable that, as you are noticing right now on the top left, you can see the FPS of the screen. Now, let me jump into the settings. This is how it looks like. And I don't have a SIM card in the device, but Vaulty calling VO Wi-Fi both should be working fine here without any issues. And in the Evolver settings, let me jump into it. And this is how the customization panel looks like right now. Yes, it looks a little bit different. This is the version 5.6.1 of Evolution x -Rom. And this is how the customization panel looks like. We have the themes at the top. So first we have the lock screen clock style and here you will get plethora of lock screen clocks. And I have been using it with this divided lines and with that, let me show you this is how it looks in the lock screen very beautiful looking like lock screen clocks are there and you can change them from here now we have the show status area and we have this kind of like look over here of the fonts and stuff and again plethora of fonts that you get over here as you can see so i have been using it with the google sense but you can use it with anything dark theme is there you can change the pitch black or the dark gray kind of look over here if you're using the dark theme also there is the accent color picker so you can pick any kind of accent color from here pretty much icon shapes you can customize between these many icon shapes then we have the icon packs too then we have the settings dashboard icon style and stuff and then the switch style this is for the toggles in the settings you can change their style from here and in this g visual mode i have changed this rounded corner to the android 12 mode and this is how it looks like with the android 12 mode and you can also adjust the status bar height then the header size also the nav bar colors you can change that from here so like you can customize thoroughly over here everything of the ui also there is a volume panel customization i have been using it with this miui compact and with that this is how the volume panel looks like but you can use it with the stock expanded compact audio or the tiled option then if you scroll down we have the custom header then the quick setting tile disco option is there and we have the quick setting tile icon style so you can change it between these many icons as you can see you can totally change the quick setting toggle styles over here but i have been using with the default one and also you can change the quick setting tile tint style over here so if you're noticing whatever toggles are off it shows this light sky blue kind of color and that's like appearing because of this android 12 kind of quick setting tint style over here and you can also change that to oxygen os 11 accent color default or whatever you like and we have the framework defaults i'm not really sure what these does and let me go back we have the status bar option we have the network traffic indicator and we have the clock and date customization for the status bar then we have the battery bar option if you want to enable that battery indicator is there so this is the battery icon styles you get so you get the icon portrait dotted circle etc but no big dotted circle or something and we have the battery percentage next to the icon or inside the icon then we have the system icons here you get the headset bluetooth etc kind of icons over here let me go back we have the show 4g instead of lte roaming indicator etc and inside notifications we have the heads up enabling or disabling option we have the notification headers and stuff then we have the notification light option and battery charging light and stuff you can enable in do not disturb too so that is great and show on new notification this is the edge lighting option and in call vibration options are there in the notification section in the quick settings we have the quick pull down smart pull down both you can customize them and vibrate on toggle touch is there and column and row number customization you can customize that also we have the quick setting brightness slider over here you can have it on the bottom or the top or just hide that and auto brightness is there expanded quick setting is there brightness controls is there so you can just like slide a finger on the status bar to adjust the screen brightness very handy feature for me as you guys know so yeah i love this feature pretty much if you scroll down we have the data usage visibility and the battery percentage in the quick settings edit icon footer text everything else now in the power menu we have the advanced reboot option again the advanced reboot is working super fine and in the system settings we have this kind of power menu settings hide on lock screen option is there so if you lock the device and if you don't want the power menu to appear in the lock screen you can use this feature in the gestures we have the system settings and if you go into it you get these gesture settings again and long press power button toggle torch is there then the brightness control is again there and we have the swipe to take screenshot then we have the double tap to check phone and the double tap to sleep over here then inside lock screen we have the always on display scheduling option in the status bar option in the like lock screen and stuff and the charging animation and stuff is there we have the media cover art but let me tell you there is no option to always unlock with the fingerprint scanner here 
in the button settings we have the navigation bar and we have the system navigations again and click to take partial screenshot is there inside animation we have the disable transition option then the screen off animation you can change it to crt or scale scrolling cache the animations options etc are there and in the misc settings we have the gaming mode and the screen settings then the launch music app option charging animation is there again and we have the usb file transfer mode over here if you want to select that and i did change that for convenience and here we have the radio info and stuff and force brightness values for the ambient or always on display and in the about this is how it looks like now let me jump into the battery settings this is how it looks like and if you tap here you see the full battery usage talking about fast charging yes 18 and 33 watt both fast charging should be working fine here and the battery life over here you can get up to like five to six hours of screen on time if your battery's health is good so you can even get six plus hours of screen on time easily and if you tap here you will also see the full battery usage again and the battery saver option is there then the adaptive battery is there smart charging smart cutoff both options are there throttle the battery charging speed over here depending on the temperature this is amazing feature in my opinion and then we have the last full charge then the screen on time and also it shows the design battery capacity the current battery capacity and the charging cycles and the battery temperature over here so you can pretty much monitor the battery's health from this battery settings itself by default in the display settings we have the brightness level the auto or adaptive brightness and in the lock screen we have this always show time and info and that is the always on display for some reason if you want to enable the always on display over here you can definitely do that and here in the screen timeout we have up to 30 minutes option and the dark theme is there again display size the dpi you can customize night light and the live display option is there and from here you can customize the colors like the rgb of the screen and then we also have this like screen colors over here you can set it to natural boosted saturated or adaptive let me go back we have the styles and wallpapers and we get these kind of theme preset over here and in the wallpapers these are the wallpapers that you get so you can download and apply any live wallpaper over here and talking about the wallpapers yes there is the papers app by default and in this as you can see you get plethora of evolution x kind of wallpapers they look really really beautiful in my opinion and i have been using it with this one it looks pretty cool and colorful with the evolution x logo so yeah i definitely like this papers apps wallpaper over here and in the display settings again we have the rotation settings and stuff then we have the full screen apps and from here if you enable any kind of app over here that will be forced to use the full screen then we have the screen saver mode the double tap to wake the pocket addiction mode is there and the enable blurs option is there too now in the sound and vibration we have these kind of sound settings then if you scroll down we have the volume panel on the left so if you enable that as you can see right now the volume panel is appearing on the left side so you can customize that from here or you can control that from here and you can put the phone into vibrate or silent from here very cool and we have the ringtone vibration pattern changing option as you can see there are these kind of patterns that you get and we have the volume steps the vibrate for calls and stuff then if you scroll down we have these dial pad tone screen locking sound etc disabling or enabling option then inside me audio direct we have this youth edition and also you get all of these presets over here so the sound quality via the headphone jack is amazing and the me audio direct is working fine you get all of these presets and yes the sound quality via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well is just amazing and there is no issues whatsoever in terms of the sound quality over here with the speakers with headphones everything else the sound quality is great jumping into the security settings and here is how it looks like we have the pixel imprint that is for the fingerprint and if you go into the settings we have the scramble layout then the quick unlock option is there so you don't have to tap the right option whenever you're entering pin let me go back we have the face unlock so let me show you let's just set up the face unlock right now so setting up the face unlock is done i'll just double tap over here and double tap to wake and as you are noticing the face unlock is working fine and double tapping over here to wake again and it unlocks let's put the phone like over here and double tap right now if i put the phone towards my face and it unlocks so yeah this is the face unlocking speed and it is working 100 percent amazingly well time to talk about the app locker and this is how the app locking interface looks like by default and you can lock pretty much any app from here and there we also have this 15 seconds locking option let me just lock this telegram app over here for that you just search for that from there and you can just lock it you can also hide their notification from here if you don't want to see their notifications and after i have locked it if i try to open it this is how it looks like so right now i have to either tap the fingerprint scanner with my assigned fingerprint or use the face unlock or use the pin i'm going to use the like fingerprint option over here and as you can see it has unlocked so yeah very cool like app lock over here no issues you can lock any particular app it should be working fine also we do have this violet parts over here in the settings panel and there we also get the display kcl stuff so you can thoroughly customize the display colors the rgb of the screen and then saturation value contrast everything else 
you can like customize from this display KCL settings. The Linux mode is set to enforcing by default, I guess. Then we have the FPS info overlay. Also, we have the fast charging by the USB 3.0 ports if you want to have that. And we have the clear speaker option if you want to like clear the speakers if there is a lot of dust, you can clear that from this option. Then we have the vibrator intensity and strength option. Also, there is the brightness option so you can customize the torch brightness from this kind of settings. Talking about the safety net, yes, it passes the safety net right out of the box on this ROM. So you should not worry about the safety net status. You can use any banking apps right out of the box on this ROM. And in terms of DRM info, as you can see, it shows L1. So you can stream Netflix or Amazon Prime videos in 1080p on this particular build of this ROM. Also talking about the IR Blaster over here, as you're noticing, the IR Blaster should be working fine right out of the box. And yes, with this LED RGB remote app, I'm testing the IR Blaster works flawlessly here, or you can use it with the Mi remote or something. So the IR Blaster is actually working fine without any issues. And in terms of daily driving performance, this ROM should be good enough over here. And I would say you can also use it for gaming or something. And in terms of daily driving performance should be good. You can see the benchmarks from here and you can get an idea about the gaming performance of this particular ROM with the benchmarks that you are seeing. And as there is no stock camera, I have installed this Nikita Gcam over here. I'll put the links for this in the description box below. To talk about the version, this is the version 1.0 as you can see. And with this, the like quality of the pictures are great. And as you can say, this is the selfie I took. And yeah, pretty much the picture quality seems to be like good enough over here. No issues that I have had. And let me take a picture with the rear camera. So yeah, with this, the picture quality is good enough. And as you can see, it takes very cool pictures and there are like lot of good options like the 2x zoom over here and the night set and stuff should be working fine if you install this Google camera separately. But again, in the Evolution X latest build, there is no camera app by default over here. You have to keep that in mind. So yeah, the latest Evolution X 5.6.1 is pretty great for the Redmi Note 7 Pro. And if you want to try this ROM, you can definitely do that. And if you don't know how to flash this ROM, you can check out the card right there. So thank you so much for watching this video guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. Please share this video with your friends if you feel like. And this is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today. And I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.